Hey, what's up guys? Jay Martin here. Three things I've learned from Gary V that I want to share with you that you can learn as well. So before I start, if you're around the age range of 12 to 25, consider checking out Gary V's channel. It'll be in the description box, so if you guys want, you could just head on there if you want to see his content. I think you'll heavily gravitate towards what he says. It's nothing like the advice you could get from a teacher or a parent or even an older sibling. But nonetheless, here are the three things I've learned from Gary Vaynerchuk. Number one, macro patience, micro speed. So based on my own understanding of what Gary V means by this is subscribing to the now mentality. When someone says, we'll do it tomorrow, say, uh-uh, we'll do it now. We glorify strategy and highly underestimate execution. I remember when Gary V said that line, I was like, oh gosh, that's so right. I mean, it's not something we've all haven't heard before, but sometimes it takes the 40th time or the 100th time to finally conceptualize and hear it in order to start doing and keep doing micro speed, but macro patience. Things will take time. Gary has a different analogy, but what I like to say in a similar message is, if you want a Lamborghini or a Rolls Royce, whatever, you're gonna get it eventually, but you gotta love the process. That's a key thing, the process of. And it's so important to be happy in the process. I saw this photo the other day. I don't know if it was a video or a photo, but it was this man who probably weighed around 300 pounds. It was a before and after picture when he weighed 300 pounds and in his after photo, he was ripped. But guess what? In both photos that he took, he had this big, incredible, infectious smile on his face. And that's real happiness. So number one, macro patience, micro speed, but be happy in the process. The second thing, of course, is self-awareness. Self-awareness is very inclusive to a lot of things. I think it's a broad term, but what I'm talking about is self-awareness in knowing what you're about. What's your kung fu? Is hardworking and grinding an essential part to achievement? Yes, it is. But is working so many hours to the point you push over burning out and ruin real intimate relationships and family relationships and you're just unhappy in perpetuity, like, is that a good strategy? No, that's just cutting off priceless, meaningful things. And if you succeed in something that doesn't fulfill you, that's the ultimate failure. So being self-aware is a pretty interesting game because we all have our different value systems. And actually, I think it's a much more interesting game of, do you know why you're working that hard? Or what are you actually trying to achieve? The worst thing in life is to get older and realize you spend all that time and energy in getting good in the wrong thing. So last but not least, the third thing I've learned from Gary Vee, which arguably helped me the most with my self-esteem, and that is to quiet the outside noise and not get high on your own supply. Because frankly, the world doesn't see us the way we see ourselves, so why bother really trying to prove something to someone? Is it insecurity? Is it, you know what I mean? And what I mean by quieting the outside noise and not being high on your own supply, it's not just negative judgment, because what does a subliminal message say? When you entertain positive reinforcement or compliments from others, but completely avoid confrontation to negative criticism. When you stop hearing things and you just do things that feel intuitively right to you, shit gets remarkable. No one's ever thrilled on their deathbed when they live their whole lives listening to everyone else. And here's a quote to end by Gary V. The reason why you're not winning and doing what you want is somebody's opinion, somebody's opinion of you matters more to you than your opinion of yourself. That's rough. All right, guys, that's my take on the three things I've learned from Gary V that I wanted to share with you. I did try to not make the list mainstream just because if you consume his content yourself, you probably hear the same things over and over again. <laughs> But if you think I should turn this into a little series where I discuss about the things I've learned, give this video a like and drop a comment. I do want this to be a discussion. I want y'all to have a voice in this too. So let me know what else you've learned from Gary Vee. I'd always love to know. But that's it for the video. Hope you carry on enjoying the rest of your day. Spread some positivity, okay? Peace and love.